cabeça e ó, joguei para baixo. Fiz a defesa. Uma, uma coisa eu não posso deixar de subir aqui, ó. Se subir aqui fica ruim para mim. Então eu tenho que manter a cabeça e ele baixo. Posso tentar fugir, ó. Tá? Vou, vou, vou ficar na briga. Ou então eu cheguei aqui, ó. O que, que eu vou fazer? Eu vou girar. Eu vou até o parede, ó. Fechar o triângulo invertido aqui. Vem na perna, cai pro lado. E perna. De novo. Okay. Okay. What do you think, coach? I don't know. Huh? What do you think? I think it's not bad. Not bad? It's not bad. <laughs> no, it's good. Top position. You understand what I did, coach? Yeah. Take this. You take like this, coach, watch. I go, not here. I go here. You understand? Yeah. Watch me. You understand? Yeah. Not here. I go here. So I prefer to go one when I feel he's off balance, like two. I attack the other. I start by defending here. I'm gonna grab the wrist. Go to the ground. Here. I'm gonna defend myself here like this. One, two. Three. From the seatbelt position, okay? I lift it up, getting this hand out. And look, I snake it right underneath the armpit. You don't have to get it in tight. I'm just doing enough that I can push off the ribs, get this hand out, and I do a straight arm here. I don't need to bend. I just need to connect to my forearm. Now I unleash, and as he turns, I pull this across, right to the shoulder. If he feels that my leg's close, he goes to hook my leg. I now have a hook on his leg, where I pass it to my hand. And I can use this control, or I can also use this to push him away. See, this leg can be flat, and then as I push him, I straighten my leg up here.
Quick tip. All right, so when I'm in mountain, I want to get the Ezekiel. My little trick for doing it, I like attacking the arm, and I already have this underneath, and I keep the hand up high, so I got like sleeve of wizard here, right? And when I'm starting to go up and he pops that out, right away I'm gonna take my thumb, put it in, I bend the thumb, and then I fold my fingers over it. So I, I'm not just like stretching my thumb, I'm not worried about injuring myself. So I bend the thumb in, fold the fingers over it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tickle his neck on this side, right? I just want him to think that I'm gonna start Ezekiel in that side. So I tickle the neck a little bit, and then I pull to the other side, punch the hand through, grab the material for the finish. So I'm here, I'm trying to get the triangle, I'm trying to get the arm bar, I'm trying to get the Americana. Thumb in, bend the thumb, fold over, touch the neck a little bit, back through, cut, finish. <laughs> Me personally, the way I configure my legs, I post my hand, sweep over here, oh, and lock up my uh, triangle. Uh, my form is flat, yeah, so he feels no discomfort. All right, and then I start to pull and mm, start the car. And that is when uh, my radius is gonna eat up into his uh, uh, fatty part of the form and the bicep, okay? Just like this. A little thing, a little troubleshooting. It, it does not relate to our escape, but so you know. Common mistake in this position uh, that people apply, once they start to pull with their lower back, and that's the power source, remember, remember that, lower back is the power source, what happens, they extend the arm, arm straightens out, and now what happens, I call it flossing, right? I'm just basically pulling my arm through, as opposed to wedging and eating into the muscle. So make sure to maintain this angle at 90 degree or less, right? And you can do S grip, whatever grip rocks your boat, right? And that's what I do. 